What's going on? Justin Hombach here back from a practice cave and welcome to today's video where we are going to take a look at this massive three string and four string sweep arpeggio etude. Let's go! In this etude I combine three string sweep arpeggio shapes and four string sweep arpeggio shapes to create a really really nice rhythmical and melodic idea and effect. It makes a lot of fun to learn, to play and to teach this sweep picking etude. And for the last thing I am here to teach you guys this big sweep picking etude to bring your sweep picking playing to the next level. Okay, without further ado, if you want the free tabs for this etude then check out the description box. There's a link where you can download the free tabs of this etude. So let me play this etude slow first and then I'm going to dive right into the lesson. Let's go! <music> Okay, first of all, let us check out the chord progression. The first chord is G minor, then we're going to F sharp major, Ooh, and this is by far one of my favorite chord progressions ever. So epic! Again, G minor, F sharp major, G minor, F sharp major, G minor, F sharp major, and then we're going to B major, C sharp major, D sharp minor. Again, D sharp minor. Then B major, C sharp major, and F sharp major. Okay, now the coolest thing about this sweep etude is that we are combining three string sweep arpeggios and four string sweep arpeggios. And on our first F sharp minor, uh, sorry, G minor, we are playing this. of idea and the cool thing here is by combining three string arpeggio shapes and four string arpeggio shapes we get some really cool and interesting rhythmical idea due to our um, accent on the E string. Sorry. Okay and first I pull off from the 10th fret to the 8th fret, uh, sorry, to the 6th fret, and then from the 8th fret to the 6th fret, and the last time where I'm going to the E string. So I'm starting with the 3 string arpeggio, and then we're going to, then I'm going to the 4 string arpeggio and adding the 8th fret on the E string to make it a little bit more melodic. If you want to know more about 3 string sweep arpeggio shapes and 4 string sweep arpeggio shapes, I highly recommend to you guys to check out my video series called The Beginning Shredders. There I'm going to explain this a little bit more in detail. Okay, let's continue. Now, from here on, we're switching to the next inversion from G minor and playing the same kind of idea. We're combining 3 string sweep arpeggio shapes and 4 string sweep arpeggio shapes. Adding this kind of melody note, the uh, 30th fret on the E string, and now we're going to F sharp major. Playing this one. Jumping to the next inversion of F sharp major. Again, 3 string and 4 string sweep arpeggio shapes, and adding the melody note on the E string. In this case, it's the 16th fret on the E string. Then we're going to G minor again. This is really tricky because of the roll technique in our index finger. Then again, G, um, F sharp major. Again, G minor. And again, F sharp major. Now we're going to B major. We're playing the inversion in this kind of area on the 14th fret and the 17th fret. 
Our melody notes on the 18th fret on the E string. Again, the same kind of sequence. We need uh, three string sweep arpeggio shapes and four string sweep arpeggio shapes. And then we are going to C sharp major. There we have this fingering. Here we are adding the fourth on the uh, 14th fret on the E string. Going to D sharp minor. Now we are playing the chord twice, but we don't play the same sweep sequence twice. We are starting with this one, our normal 3 string and 4 string sweep arpeggio shape. Then we are playing again the 3 string sweep arpeggio shape. And switching to the, le to the inversion before this, here on the 14th fret, the 11th fret on the E string and the 11th fret on the, and the, 11th fret on the G string. So we are changing the inversions. Then we're going to play again the B mi major, C sharp major again, and now F sharp major. And in F sharp major we are playing this kind of idea. And we are starting with the three string sweep arpeggio shape and F sharp major. Doing the pull off twice on the E string. Sweep, pull off, the melody note, 16th fret on the E string. And then we are doing the full sweep, but this time five string sweep arpeggio shape. And resolving in the F sharp, the 16th fret on the D string. The 5 string sweep arpeggio shape goes like this 18, 14, 14, 15, 16, row technique 16, 13, and back up again. Nice! So this was the big 4 string and 3 string etude for today, the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this lesson. If you liked the video then feel free to subscribe, feel free to hit the like button and if you have any trouble or any questions about this etude or this kind of technique then always feel free to write me in the comments or to join the Progress Nation Facebook group, my official Facebook group where I'm going to do a weekly live stream and I'm going to explain or to answer some questions that you guys are asking me. So much for this, now it's time to go back into my practice cave to practice some more sweet picking and I wish you a really good time. Stay progress. Cheers!